fuck me. I encourage her to go fuck guys. I'm like, yeah, yeah, go do it. The moment she did, I, I ghost her, blocked her on everything. <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault for sleeping with people even though I told you to. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're taking a look at some more TikTok videos of some people that think they know better than you. Before we go on, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this like this and all that stuff also if you like your movies your trashy movies your cheesy action movies check out the other channel movies to drink to and subscribe there yes and also check out mr smith wherever <laughs> he'll tell you at various different places uh yeah the i do stand-up comedy as well um i'm doing a show on tuesday i'm probably sure you can't make that that's in that south sea uh but also on the 2nd of october i am at zephyr rock bar in bournemouth um, I'm also on the 16th of October. I am at the Hot Water Comedy Club in Liverpool, um, doing a new act night. So if you're there, you know, pop in. Cool. What else are you going to do? Plus, I'll be at the one in Zephyr. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing a set, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are checking out the Wingman podcast. The Wingman podcast. Yep, it describes itself as the number one dating podcast in the world. This clearly has to be. <laughs> yes. Actually, actually, pretty surprised. Hold on. That is a bold claim. <laughs> yep. The number one dating podcast in, in the, the world. world. Yep. I'm actually pretty surprised that no one claims the, that title before. Seems too good to be true. Yeah. So you go, Wingman, but... I mean... It wasn't taken. I can't believe are it. Are there other dating podcasts? I don't know how... What what would the dating podcast consist of? People talking about dating. I guess. Yeah, basically. Oh, d d the world we live in today, there's obviously more than one. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently this is the number one. So we're in for a treat. Yes, we are. Let's take a look. Here is a clip. This is on their, their TikTok. They uploaded this themselves. Cheating is the best thing I've ever discovered. Cheating on my significant other is the best thing I've ever discovered in my entire fucking life when it comes to relationships. Sound. <laughs> First of all, cheating is the best. He's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> cheating, cheating's amazing. <laughs> I've discovered that two people like me at the same time. <laughs> that, um, I imagine that anybody that this guy is with is instantly like, oh, shut the fuck up. So, like, you know, it's not really cheating. It's just finding somebody else that's interested. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I mean, my only advice is don't take advice from children. <laughs> and that is a fucking child. Yeah. Like, what easily. is he, like 16? Easily. I, I mean, this is kind of like, there's not a lot of context to this, but... What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, these are just the, uh, the the clips that they put up to yeah. sort of get people in. Cheating is the best thing I've ever discovered. Like, he's just found it. Yeah. Like, also, just... you have to have a girlfriend to cheat. <laughs> just saying that, son. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, yeah. No, this is... Yeah, that's absurd. All yeah. of it. Uh, oh, let's have another look. There's, there's more. There's more. Excellent. I don't see it as cheating. I feel like I haven't cheated. I agree. If, if, if I sleep with someone else. I agree. It's like entertainment. It's entertainment for this it's dick. Like playing a video game. <laughs> it's like playing a video game. It's entertainment <laughs> for your dick. I don't see it as cheating. Um, I mean, these got. Let's let's be honest. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are fucking these dudes? <laughs> well, I mean, probably some, but they. Again, you you have to actually be in a relationship to cheat. Yeah. Um, if you're just banging everybody, you're not in a relationship. Yeah. It's not cheating. But it is cheating if you don't tell them. <laughs> if, if you're you... yeah, an open relationship, that's a that's a whole Yeah, that's a whole different thing. thing. That's a to like some people that work totally works for them, polyamorous relationships. But you have to tell them. Yeah. Otherwise that's cheating. Is it, I don't see it as cheating. What don't you see as cheating? Cheating. <laughs> yeah, the concept of cheating I don't see it as cheating yeah. what do you see it as entertainment uh, for my dick yeah entertainment for my dick um, yeah. so what is your girlfriend giving your nonsense. dick not entertainment yeah who is your girlfriend your mother this doesn't make any sense yeah how does the other person involved in this see it <laughs> well if the, they're real yeah <laughs> and if they are real 
Well, I was going to say, you clearly haven't told them, but you've just told the world. Because, <laughs> again, it's like these people don't realise there's a microphone in front of their face. Yeah. And anybody, you know, they're young. They are fucking... These are, like, fucking still wet behind the ears children. Absolutely. This is forever, guys. Yeah. So one day I mean, when yeah. you grow the fuck up and want to actually settle down, no one's going to want you because they're going to see this. <laughs> Literally, imagine getting into a new relationship and you're like, this is... I'm... I'm invested in this and then you find i really like this girl like or man um like i i i I, want to make this work and everything else and then they're like um so i've i checked out your podcast (laughs) no uh, i was just talking shit um yeah but it's there that it's there forever now Mm. but uh, remember this i this good this one here says you know uh doesn't consider it cheating it's just entertainment for his dick for his dick yep he also has this to say I just can have sex without emotion. They can have sex without emotion. Uh, some, I would some, say, yeah, yeah. Some are cold-hearted. Older, I personally you know. am not like that. Mm. I, I, the older I don't have with a girl if so. I don't have an emotional connection with her. I just don't, don't get turned on. You notice how his tune has changed quite a bit when there's a woman in the room. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> So <laughs> he's completely contradicted himself. There's, there's from a lot before. to unpack here. <laughs> so <laughs> when it's just him and his little weedy bro, yeah, I don't consider it cheating. It's just something for my dick, right? Yeah, yeah. high five, bro. As soon as there's a female present, like I need, to, not, have I, I need to have an emotional connection, yeah. otherwise I can't have sex. Yeah, even when I'm cheating, like I have to be emotionally connected. <laughs> yeah, to but then it is cheating, isn't people. it? If you're emotionally connected to someone, it's, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> You fucking child. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. It's clearly someone who's never been in, in a relationship or probably had sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me a break. Oh. Uh, right, no. See, now, you can. You can sleep with somebody and not be emotionally connected to them. Like, that is the thing. It happens yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, let's be perfectly honest. Uh, none of us are perfect. Like, it does happen. Um, now, to <laughs> so she has a point. His, his entire thing is like, you're a woman, you're wrong. I am better than you. Like, and yeah. It's literally his whole thing. It's like, like, this is what I'm getting from this. It's just like everything she was, she's going to say, he's just going to... She could have said the opposite. And he'd be like, no. It would have been like, yeah, but I cheat all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's nonsense. Oh, Christ. Uh, have we got any more of these clips? Girls are like, you're cheating on me. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to help out my grandpa. My <laughs> fuck. Grand great grandfather died in a fire in his sleep. Okay, so I could travel across the Americas and bust nuts inside white girls. What? <laughs> right. Those are those are definitely words. <laughs> I know those words, that but now that formed, makes sense. That have been formed into sentences. <laughs> what the fuck is he on about? No, there's no one. Right. Sorry. That. <laughs> That that kid's a virgin. Like there's there's <laughs> no way anyone's fucking that kid. What does he mean? My granddad died in a fire in his bed. So he could does... travel across Americas, yeah, and fuck white girls. But I don't understand. Like we definitely need more context to this. Did white people set his house on fire? <sighs> I mean, I'd set his house on fire. There, there's no race involved. <laughs> Just he he irritates me. Like the minute he opens his mouth, like there's no way. Oh my god! If anybody is sleeping with this fucking bloke, then you need to it's question like, yourself. Yeah, it's, it's like the the excitement of you know you're young, you've just discovered sex, and he's like, I I saw her boobs. They were great, <laughs> and uh, and then I busted my nut on a white girl. <laughs> it's like we get it. It's an exciting time of your life, but you don't need to broadcast it all over the fucking internet. Yeah. And back to the cheating thing. Where it's like, cheating is amazing. You've not been in a relationship or cheated. Because guys that cheat don't even tell their bros. Well, no, because. Have that's you ever had a mate unstuck. of yours been like, yeah, I cheated on her? Yeah. They don't tell their friends. Even like people I know that have been found out they were cheating never told me. No, you know, it's they always a big reveal. Yeah. They don't tell people. Mm. Fucking idiot. Oh, I think there's one more of these. Right, but I'll, I'll like test a lot of my girls. So I'll even, like tell them to go do something that I would drop them for doing it. Like my first <laughs> girlfriend I ever had, lost in Virginia, this girl. Just. Is this the same dude? Yeah. What's he wearing? This this outfit is just a red flag. This is, this is fucking so try hard. <laughs> <laughs> it this really is. Like, is. Lit- this is a guy 
that fucking the only fucking action he's getting is Paid. on his own. Like he's, or he's paying for it. Yeah, he's paying for it. It's on his own. This guy owns one of those fucking um, flashlights. Flashlights. <laughs> Definitely. Well, he owns several. <laughs> like, he and keeps the, forgetting to clean them out. It's yeah. just t- he talks to them as well. Like, when he gets them out, he's like, fucking, it's your, it's your turn tonight, baby. Hello, Alicia. <laughs> yeah, he's got names for them all. <laughs> That's what this guy is. Like, for, and, but he thinks they're real women. Yeah, but it's just like the the the, the outfit, the, the, yeah, the shirt undone all the way to the navel, the pearl necklace, yeah. sunglasses indoors. He's like... The eighties personified here. <laughs> yeah. All he needs is a coke stain under his nostril. Fuck me. I encourage her to go fuck guys. I'm like, yeah, yeah, go do it. The moment she did, I, I ghosted her, blocked her, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault for sleeping with people, even though I told you to. I encouraged her to go out and sleep with other people, and then punished her for it. No, no you didn't punish her for it. You did her a massive favor. Like you lit. Hang on, let's unpack this. <laughs> he didn't tell her to go and fuck other people. She Went. was never with him in the yeah, first place. Yeah. <laughs> so there was, yeah, he there found was, out she was sleeping with other people. When there, he locked her. There's, there's a woman out there somewhere that made a mistake and hooked up with him one night. Yeah, and then he like, and she was like, um, yeah, no, this, this isn't really a thing. And he was like, yeah, you should definitely go and sleep with other people. Block. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't no. want to go out of you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's insane. Like, fucking... These people put themselves out there. Yeah. I mean, I know we do, but I don't... Th- this is another <laughs> level. <laughs> well, we're not giving dating advice. No, no. Fuck no. Telling you Jesus where Christ, to not you find imagine? dating advice. Look. I might do the antithesis of <laughs> dating advice one day. But anyway, um, like this, this is, uh, he made a conscious decision to go on a, and record something dressed like that. Uh, yeah. And, and say these things. And say these. Things. Into a microphone, onto the internet. It's there forever. You will learn, son. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but there's some old Facebook posts. Old MySpace posts yeah, 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 probably yeah. not particularly proud of. Yeah. Yeah. This is your moment. Oh like, my god. <laughs> Listen, like if, if the comedy thing ever takes off and I do fucking explain like, and, and, and make it somewhere, there's a lot of shit that's gonna come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like if we <laughs> There are questionable jokes I have made in the past. But they are jokes, people. Like yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of this. Whereas this guy's being serious. Yeah, this guy believes everything he's saying. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, I'm I'm an a ridiculously anxious person. <laughs> right. Fucking like, I question everything I've said, like all of the fucking time, like constantly, like I, I will wake myself up at three o'clock in the morning and be like, my brain will be like, do you remember that time you said this to someone? And, and then I'll lie there for hours thinking about it. Can you imagine <laughs> if I was that person? Well, this, yeah, this is what not having anxiety looks like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a pearl necklace and a pair of shitty shades. <laughs> the shirt unbuttoned here. Like, oh my God. Like Tom Jones's fucking illegitimate <laughs> grandchild. Yeah. Uh, there is something uh, about this, actually, that I, as a YouTuber that makes no money, <laughs> there's just some shit going on here I can't help but notice. Right. I'm going to get a little bit technical. Go on. But uh, bear with me. Because there is a point. No, go on. <laughs> that microphone he's speaking into, that is a Shaw SM7B. Okay. It is about $400. Right. It is the golden standard for professional content creators. You've seen that mic way more. Yeah, not these $50 <laughs> things, £50 pound things. You've seen these way more than you realize. Every, right. Like Logan Paul... Joe Rogan, gamers like Cinnamon Toast Ken and Buff Pro, they all use these. This is the Pro mic, right? Okay. 400 bucks each. That's just for the mic. Okay. Doesn't include the cables, the headphones, the stand it's in. Right. That stuff there is probably another 100, 150. The sound quality on this is quite good. So yeah. They're probably using something called a cloud lifter. Okay. Not going to go into what that does, but it costs about 150 each. You need one for each microphone. This has right. to be fed into something like a mixer. That's about 300. Okay. It's all being shot on what I think is 4K cameras, not like an old iPhone. (laughs) 
some of their episodes, which are fully on YouTube, but over an hour, maybe two hours. Right. So that's, you're looking at about 1500 for a camera. Money has been spent on this, right? Now, you look at this right. is thousands of pounds worth of equipment. Or they have hired a recording space. Okay. Which it probably is. It's sort of, it look, looks like a designated recording. It does look like a, an a designated area recording area. <coughs> yeah, it's yeah. not like some wires down yeah, the back yeah. there. There's like a, that, that's clearly like a, the curtains are mm. sound dampening. Yes, basically, yeah. Um, if that's the case, then they've hired this room and the equipment. That is a minimum of $100 an hour. Right. Then afterwards, you've got editing and mixing. I could be wrong, but I don't think these two numpties are doing it themselves. <laughs> That's another 65 to over $100 an hour to have done. Okay. Money is being spent on making this. Somewhere in the region this. of... Right. Yeah, this this show. Somewhere in the region of maybe $500 an episode, if not more. Right? Now, it's not unusual for content creators to spend money yep. on productions and stuff like that. Thing is, I don't think these two idiots are making any money. I mean... Uh, so I would kind of I would be crestfallen if they are. <laughs> their TikTok account has three thousand five hundred seventy followers, so they're not in a creative fund because you need ten thousand minimum. Right. And even TikTok, you make pennies from it. Their YouTube channel nine hundred and fifty one subscribers, so they are. I mean, they're like three hundred or so more than we are. Yeah, but also they haven't hit a thousand, so they're not making any money from YouTube or TikTok. Right. And yet they've got loads of money to put into making this. I think we're just looking at two rich kids here. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, well, entirely. That's all it is. It's two kids. The minute they start talking. Too much money and nothing better to fucking do. Yeah. That's it. And like, look at the production of this. Look at the, even the, the banner, the, the pro taking pictures, you know. The minute Money's they start been talking, th these are these these are obviously kids that don't live in the real world. No, I mean these they, they're like fucking like they they've had money, they've had they've clearly garnered popularity because it's been given to them. Yeah, well, I mean their popularity is even that much. No, well, not really. not for that, but I mean like sort of in real life, like their their, their entire oh, yeah. social life is because they've got money. Yeah, they're they're from a privileged background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just one or one of them. Basically, it's a couple of rich kids who don't know fucking anything because they don't live in the real world. Anyway, that was the episode. <laughs> uh, like I said, my only advice is don't take advice from children. Ever. Especially rich kids. They know nothing. They know nothing. <laughs> Neither do we. But, you know. <laughs> We're not trying to sell it to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks. See you next time. Ta-da.